Good morning and Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. I am Muthi Rahman Muthin, as teacher in Gavan Gold Boys High School. Welcome you to my online class and by Gavan Gold Boys High School. Dear students, today I am going to take a new class on English second paper for the student of class 6 to 10. Okay, dear friends, let's get started. Welcome you. My identity, and you can see to this class is on English second paper for the student of plus six to ten topic linking verb. Okay, so learning outcomes. Let's see the learning outcomes from today's lesson. After the end of the lessons, you will be able to define a linking verb, learn the examples of linking verbs, use verbs in Linking verbs in sentences. Okay, students. So let's see the definition of a linking verb. Dear students, a linking verb is an intransitive state of being verb that takes a noun or a pronoun or an adjective as its complement to complete the sense. Dear students. If we analyze the very definition of a linking verb, we will find some characteristics in it. A linking verb would be an intransitive verb. You know, an intransitive verb then doesn't take any object. And if a linking verb would also be a state of being verb. A state of verb means it will just denote some state, not any action. If we try to analyze the characteristics of all English verbs, we will see that all the verbs can be categorized under two main categories. The first category is action verb and the second category is state of being verbs. So what kind of verbs are action verbs? The verbs who is denoted some type of actions. As for example, Rohan plays football, the boy is running, the man is uh, working in the fields. These are generally known as action verbs. But if I say the tree is high, the man is weak, he got tired, he is and caught, totally state of being verb. So, dear students, uh, there are two main cases here of a linking verb. It will be an intensity verb and it will be state of being verb. Okay? And at the same time, it will take a noun or a pronoun or an adjective word as, as its complement to complete the sense. So, uh, we must know the very uh, differences between an object and a complement. You know, an object is a word that helps the subject to complete the action of the verb. That means the word that helps the subject uh, of a sentence to complete the action of the verb is the object. As for example, uh, he flies a kite. He flies a kite. In, that se in, in this sentence, he flies the kite. The very action of flying is being is being uh, accomplished with with the help of the object kite. So a kite is the object here. But complement. What is a complement? If if you don't know the very definition of a complement, and if you don't know how a complement generally works in a sentence, you will not be able to differentiate a linking verb from other type of verbs. So, a complement is a word that helps either the subject or the object in stand of a sentence to clarify the meaning. If we just clarify the definition of a complement, again we can say a complement is the word that helps the subject or the object uh, of a sentence to clarify the meaning of them. As for example, as for example, the boy is row him. The boy is row him. If we just say the boy is, it will not be a complete sentence. Though we say birds fly, it will be a complete sentence because there is uh, flies the flies the uh, intransitive verb and birds fly is enough for being a complete sentence. But if I just say the boy is row him, the boy is not a complete one because there is some there is some lacking. We want to know more about the boy. So, if we say the boy is Rohim here, Rohim is the 
complement word because Rohim is helping the subject to clarify the meaning. Okay. So another sentence can be said, we made him captain. We made him captain. Here captain is here captain is uh, clarifying the meaning of the object him here. So captain is the uh, object to complement. We know complement are of two types, subject to complement and object to complement. In another class we will try to venture to discuss this type of topic. Okay. So linking verbs are uh, am, is, are, was, were, be, been, being, then act, appear, become, get, grow, go, feel, sing, taste, remain, stay, come, fall, run, smell, keep, look, sound, stand, lie. So these are the examples of linking verbs. So in the first uh, list, you have seen the very examples of some B verbs. We know B verbs have eight forms. Uh, you have been able to see them here. So uh, let's see the uses of linking verb in sentences now. Use subject plus linking verb plus noun or pronoun or adjective. When we will be uh, we will be uh, using that means when we will use the linking verb from the list one that means the linking verb am is there was there be been being in that case we can use noun complement or pronoun complement or adjective complement after this type of linking verb but as for example he is rohim here rohim is the noun complement the book is mine here mine is the pronoun complement and he is tired. A tired is the adjective complement. So after the linking verb listed in list one, and listed in list one, uh, we can use a noun complement or pronoun complement or an adjective complement. Okay. And another uh, use is, uh, is subject plus linking verb plus adjective. That means when we will be using the linking verb from the list two after those linking verb we can use adjective and complement as for example the man acted crazy the he grew tired he grew tired they remained silent have you gone mad have you gone mad so after this linking verb acted grew remained gone we have used adjective and complement Mean, namely crazy, tired, silent, mad. So uh, if we use the linking verb from the list two, up to this linking verb we will use adjective complement. Okay. Perhaps the uh, very characteristics and uses of linking verb have been clarified to the instance. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for today.